Storyteller is a tool that captures information about the programming process. It integrates with IDEs. It records every keystroke, delete, copy and paste, and file operation. It can be used as a version control system with branching and merging. The information that gets recorded can be played back so others can learn how the system has evolved. This playback tells the story of how to find a square root using Unix processes. The media style controls at the bottom control the playback. One can increase or decrease the speed at which the code gets played back. The most interesting aspect of Storyteller is the ability to create a narrative about how the code was created. This narrative is context sensitive and the same code can be part of many different playbacks. The comments about the code show up on the right. There are filters to limit how much information gets played during a playback. You can filter by time, just specify any start or end time, by developer, by file, by feature. You can skip deleted characters or choose to skip dead paths altogether. Storyteller can be used to get new team members up to speed, familiarize existing team members with unfamiliar code, have your best developers teach with minimal effort, can be used as a code review prep tool, and in fact you can capture the knowledge inside a code review by creating a playback during it. You can learn the effects of developers have on a team. Who did what? Who deleted what? Who added to whose code? Storyteller enhances learning on the development team. Here I'm going to use the text editor to write some text. A quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Now I'm going to change the colors from brown to red, from red to green. What we can do with a playback is we can play back the entire history of this document. We can adjust the speed. We can jump around using the, the bar here. Maybe more importantly, we can highlight only certain sections of the text and see how that text alone has evolved. So I highlighted the just the color green and now we'll see how that text has changed over time. Notice all the other uh, text in the document is is placed in its correct position. That forms the context for all the changes in the in the text. Now this can be used uh, to learn about how only certain sections of code have evolved. And you could use this for things not related to code as well. So documents or any, any written text. Here I have some code to search through an array of numbers. Imagine you were going to be asked to work on this code. What you can do is highlight it and create a playback of just this code. Notice how you get an initial context of what the code looked like and now we can see the events added in exactly the same order that the developer created them.
One can also highlight code, create a playback, and specify some filters. So for example, we can choose to hide all dead paths and deleted characters. What this does is basically show you how the code would be written by a perfect programmer, someone who makes no mistakes. You'll see only the code that makes it to the current version, and you'll see it without any deletes. This is good to use in combination with a time filter. So if you're not interested in the dead paths, you can still specify a time frame, like we could say, what happened to this code last week? And we can run it using this filter and see um, just the, the work that was completed. Another thing we can do is we can highlight this code and do a slightly different filter. This is going to ignore all deletes. So in the first example, it showed the, the text, but it showed it uh, left to right, top to bottom, given some time frame. Now, this filter, it's, it's subtly different in that uh, it will still show the exact order that the code was written, but it will throw out deleted characters. After we've seen a playback, we can go up here and make a clip from this playback. And we can choose to use the entire playback or just certain events from the playback. This makes a clip. And then eventually what we will do is we'll add a, this clip to a storyboard. So we've added the search evolution clip to the storyboard. Now when we play the storyboard, we'll have the opportunity to tell a story. So as the events get played back, you can tell a little story about what's happened. So here we might want to add a comment about uh, the fact that you realize the list was always sorted and moved to a binary search. Now we can continue to add more comments and when we play this storyboard again we will see those comments during the playback. So here's the, the comment. And with this, we can create a narrative about how the code has evolved. 